Hi all, today's topic is comparison test for a problem 3. So the question, test for the convergent of the series. First we need to write un. So un, we can write it as, check it, 1, 2, 3. It's nothing but n. 2, 3, 4. Okay, so it is nothing but n plus 1 divided by denominated term 3, 4, 5. So n plus 2. From a 4, 4, 5, 6, n plus 3, 5, 6, 7. So it is n plus 4. So completed. So after writing un, we need to write vn. Vn, how we have to write means in the numerator, take the common term outside. So n squared can be taken outside. So we can write it as 1 plus 1 by n. Denominator term n, 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 each n. So n cube taken outside. So when I write it, 1 plus 2 by n, first term. Second term, 1 plus 3 by n. The third term is 1 plus 4 by n. So completed. So the n, vn is nothing but I will use some other color. The vn, you have to orange color I will use. So the definition. Vn is nothing but this. Vn is n squared divided by n cube. Okay. Vn is n squared divided by n cube is nothing but 1 by n. Remaining term will be here Vn. Okay. Which is not in the un which is not taken in the common term. So that will be your Vn. So Vn is now completed. Un you know, Vn you know. So now we need to write Un divided by Vn. So now when I write it, limit n tending to infinity, limit n tending to infinity, Un divided by Vn I have to write. So when I write it, so limit n tending to infinity, so Un, okay. So, un when I write it, so 1 by n into 1 plus 1 by n numerator, denominator 1 plus 2 by n, 1 plus 3 by n, 1 plus 4 by n, divided by 1 by n, I will write it here n. So, this get cancelled. So, as it is now, apply n equal to infinity, you apply it. So, numerator is 1. Denominator 1, 1, 1. So, 1 everything multiplied 1. So, it is a finite number. 1 is a finite number which is not equal to 0. So, if un divided by vn is a finite means by comparison test, what it is? It's converge or diverge together by comparison test. Sum of un and vn separate, separate. Or converge or diverge, converges or diverges together. So, for that, we need to check Vn, sum of Vn. Sum of Vn, already we know Vn, sum of Vn, it's nothing but 1 by n, so n power p. Okay, p here it is nothing but p equal to 1. So, if it is equal to 1 means it's nothing but when p is less than or equal to means less than or equal to 1 means so the vn is divergent. So, greater than 1 means it's convergent. Less than or equal to 1. Okay, it's equal to 1. So, it is uh, divergent. So, vn is divergent. Sum of vn is divergent means sum of un also it is divergent. Sum of un also divergent. So, divergent is answer for this corresponding comparison test. So, one more question. Fourth problem. This is your fourth problem. This is our fourth problem. Uh, 
copy the question here itself. Now, test the convergent of the series 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 2 square by 3 cube and 3 cube by 4 power 4, etc. It goes on. So, same way we will write un. So, we, uh, un we need to write. So, when I write it, un is nothing but so or how I can write it 1 by 2 squared. 2 squared by 3 squared plus etc. So, this 1 is a disturbance for me. So, I can uh, neglect this 1 and write the question as it is. Okay. So, I can remove this first term 1. Okay. Because this with respect to this 1, I cannot uh, write anything. Why I neglect means it is a one of the property. If one term only is a I am not getting anything in the first term means I can add or I can delete that term. So, by the property, this is the property. So, by the property of the series, this one is not useful at all. So, I am going to delete one in the first term. So that the question becomes 1 divided by 2 squared plus 2 squared by 3 cube, 3 power 3, 4 power 4 plus etc. It goes on. So now this is our question. Now we can write it. Okay. So now when I write in numerator, first I will write 1 squared. Okay. 1, 1, uh, 2, 2, 3, 3. So u n when I write it, it's nothing but n whole power n. Correct. Both are 1, 2, 3. Numerator you check 1, 2, 3. So, n power n. So, denominator when you check it 2, 3, 4. Same way 2, 3, 4 in the power. So, it is 2 means it is n plus 1. n plus 1 the whole power n plus 1. So, this is the way you can write it. This 1 only is uh, it was a disturbance. So, I can delete it. If uh, any one term I do not have. Okay. But, uh, uh, if I add the term, I am able to write the general form. It means that also you can do it. Add and delete, we can do it. It is a property. It is one of the property. So, now u, n, we have written. Now, first I will simplify this uh, common term. I will take it and simplify so that we can find the v, n. So, n power n as it is itself. So, in the denominator, I will split this as 2 interval. It is n plus 1, the whole power n into n plus 1. Okay, so it is n plus 1, I can write 1 and power n. Okay, again I can split and write, I can take n power n outside, n power n, here yeah, one more n, so n plus 1 I will take it outside. So, 1 plus 1 by n, the whole power n, 1 plus 1 by n. Okay. Or both you can combine it and write also. It is not wrong. So, it is n power n plus 1. 1 plus 1 by n. The whole power n plus 1. So, like this single equation you can write this or this any one. Okay. Now, you check. So, n power n, n get cancelled. Only remaining 1 by n will be there. So, vn will be that is your vn. So, vn will be. 1 by n. Vn is nothing but 1 by n. So, this extra term only will be a Vn. So, 1 by n. So, we got Vn to be 1 by n. So, Un I know. Now, Vn also I know. So, I have to divide and write. So, it is nothing but limit n tending to infinity. Un divided by Vn is nothing but limit n tending to infinity. So, already it is simplified, it is nothing but 1 by n, 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by n, the whole power n plus 1 into n, okay, because 1 by, so it becomes n, n get cancelled. Now, n equal to infinity, uh, we need to apply. For this, you should remember this, you studied in your school level, it is n tending to infinity, 1 plus 1 by n, the whole power n is nothing but e. This here, like a formula, you have to remember. Then only you can, this derivation is there for this, how it comes E. Okay. So, it is nothing but it is E. Okay. So, 
So now when I apply it, 1 by 1 plus n, the whole power n plus 1. So it is nothing but 1 by e. So answer will be 1 by e. Okay. So 1 by e is nothing but it's a finite element only. So it's a finite which is not equal to 0. So by comparison test, what it is? Both converge or diverge. Sum of u n and sum of v n are converge or diverge. Converges or diverges together. Therefore, sum of v n we have to write. Sum of v n is something but 1 by n. It is power 1. So, p equal to 1. P equal to 1 means we know that general case is nothing but 1 by sum of n power p where p less than or equal to 1 means it is a divergent. So, this is the condition. So, same only I am getting. It is equal to 1 means it is a divergent. So, Vn is divergent. Sum of Vn is divergent. Vn divergent means Un also it is a divergent. Therefore, U and also divergent. Thank you.